So, welcome to our MIT reactor. <laughs> to try to understand where the administration is coming from, we headed up to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to meet physics professor Ernest Moniz. Very high neutron flux. MIT has its own nuclear reactor for research. It was first opened in the 1950s, and Dr. Moniz gave us a tour. This is, of course, a rather small version of what you might see in a, uh, out there at a big power reactor. Dr. Moniz is not just a world-renowned scientist, but also an expert on policy, who served in President Clinton's administration and now is on President Obama's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. He says technologies like the PRISM and small Hyperion reactors are interesting, but since we haven't built a nuclear power plant in 30 years, the focus has to be on what we know. I believe personally that we need to move towards establishing or re-establishing the nuclear option quickly. The only game in town, in my view, for some number of years is going to be evolutionary designs based upon what we've done in the past. Well, we've talked to not just one or two, but a number of scientists and entrepreneurs who do have a, an entirely different vision for nuclear power. Mm -hmm. They've got designs that are smaller, cheaper, uh, and then even recycle the waste. Now, they say that they're concerned that the United States is going down the wrong path by not embracing all of the alternative technology or fixing our vision with the look-ahead technology rather than the look-back technology. My view is that uh, I strongly support developing these technologies. We may have a different view as to the maturity uh, of those technologies. Uh, as I say, uh, it's fine to say one has this technology that's never been built, that's never gone through a licensing process, which is inherently tortuous uh, in, the nuclear, uh, in, the, in the nuclear business. And it takes time. It takes time, absolutely. So that's why I, I, I feel, and I feel like I'm a technology Luddite or something in, in saying this, <laughs> that for the next 10, 20 years, if we're going to build nuclear power, it's going to be fundamentally based around what you see and the technological evolutions uh, so-called Generation 3 Plus uh, uh, reactors. Dr. Moniz says that critics who paint the Obama administration as stuck in the past are misguided and that even in tough economic times, the president is asking Congress for hundreds of millions of dollars for basic nuclear research. The president just thinks the money is better spent there than on specific projects like the PRISM reactor. Why take more time researching this when, as Eric Lowen argues, we have the solution now? Well, to be uh, perhaps too blunt, um, I, I, su I, I suggest that perhaps the word cost was used infrequently uh, in uh, discussing these technologies. The question is, will these technologies ultimately compete in the marketplace to produce electricity? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. That's part of the research and development and ultimately demonstration that I believe we need. So what, I, what we're saying is, look, this is decades away from being implemented at large scale. Why don't we come back a bit first, explore a wider set of options, maybe we'll find something better, uh, and we'll, we'll get there in 25 or 30 years uh, in terms of what would be uh, a possible recycling approach and understand, will it compete economically in the marketplace? The cost of building nuclear power plants is expensive, very, even for existing technologies. The plant being built in Georgia could only be financed because Congress allocated billions of dollars in loan guarantees. And Dr. Moniz supports President Obama's request for another $36 billion in loan guarantees. I, in the end, feel that a limited program of federal support is warranted, and I, and I, and I support the idea of, of doing that. Unlimited. Is $36 billion, could that be considered in the world of nuclear power limited? Well, nuclear power is large in scale, uh, but we should understand that this is not a commitment of $36 billion. 
it is a loan guarantee, and in principle, uh, we hope uh, the public will be will will have no uh, cost whatsoever. What's important here is that a nuclear power plant, essentially all the costs are up front. When you operate it, it's very, very inexpensive. So you need five, six, seven billion dollars to build one plant. So the idea here is to share the financing risk. Because Wall Street right now, uh, coming to, to, to finance a new nuclear power plant, would, would charge an enormous premium. As for what to do with the nuclear waste, Dr. Moniz is serving on a presidential commission to study the problem. The commission was launched by President Obama after he shut down the storage program at Yucca Mountain in Nevada. Dr. Moniz believes the best thing to do with the waste for the next few decades is to store it in those casks at ground level. For now, store the fuel, don't do anything fancy. It preserves your options, it's safe and it's cheap. Which means you can not use it or at some future date you can decide to try to recycle to it. To recycle it, it. Right. right. And if in 40 or 50 years we find that recycling uh, is the preferred approach on the basis of economics, of waste management, of not exacerbate, exacerbating nuclear proliferation concerns, well, fine. Then we have the spent fuel in a dry storage, and we can, we can use it then. Dr. Moniz does say, however, that there's an excitement about nuclear energy that he hasn't seen in years, and that once again, the field of nuclear power is attracting some of the best young minds in the country. Have we fallen behind in nuclear research? I'm afraid we have, uh, I would say, overall. We went through a long period uh, where, uh, well, we were not building reactors. When you're not building reactors, you're not encouraging a lot of research, and you're not encouraging young people to come into the field. So frankly, uh, over these years, uh, well, France and Russia and Japan, for example, Korea have had much more active programs. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to see, I think we're coming back. 